perfect for him. He can hold on to that 36 second gap. This man has been strong. He's been driving the breakaway. He's been attacking in the breakaway. He definitely deserves this wing. He's putting a very, very strong ride today, especially with the riders behind him breathing down the neck. They've basically brought back three minutes on them in what, 35k? Well, we were looking at a rider then who really stepped up in 2023. The same can be same for this man, Sepkus. And now then, Sepkus, Jan Tratnik and the rest, how are they going to play it? Tronchon's going to follow. Sepkus going to move. Podom's there, but that's just not enough of a definitive answer that shows that these guys are on their way to catching Lascano. Unless there's a big failure for Lascano, something really surprising from this group, I think we're looking at victory for the Spanish champion, the man who comes from the capital of the Basque country. Looks like it. Brilliant ride for him. Sepkus doing all the work on the front now as well, so it looks like they've chosen um, Tratnik to be their rider, their leader, to try and get that second-place position. And don't also forget they've got Prudhomme now just pulling a few two turns on the front, but it's just too late. The gap's gone out 41 seconds to this man now. He is an animal. Took his time, didn't he, to really come to prominence last year. And it's before he picked up his big wins, he had that performance in Duarte del Flandre. It's almost as if that was the big confidence boost. He then went on to take further four wins in the season, including a stage race in Mayenne. Now we're looking back at the next chasing group, and here's the Flam Rouge. One more kilometre, 1,000 metres. The first 200 still downhill and then it kicks up, but nothing more than 4 or 5%. He looks back, but don't look back. He's going to get his head down, pedal for his life, because this is his big moment, and he's going to write history as the first ever Spanish winner of a brand new, but brilliantly at the same time, traditional Spanish race. There's the national champion. Traditional in the sense that this is one of the oldest and most traditional regions in Spain in its outlook. The flags fly. It's a man from the north from the Basque country who's going to get it. The chasers are here, but they aren't close enough. This is the day for Oyer Lascano. And behind in this group, they are fighting for second and third place. Almost four hours of racing. They modeled this on Strade Bianche as well as the off-road sectors, it has the climbing. And now he's going to realise he's beaten the climbing. He's bossed the sectors. And listen to this. Two years ago, it was Lutsenko. Last year, it was the mighty Tadej Pogacar. And now, in the land famous for Spanish traditional produce, it's the national champion who's produced his own big moment, finally, in front of his own fans. From the morning breakaway, it's quite the work of art for Oyer Lascano, who wins Classica Hain. Behind it's Wellens, who's been on the podium twice, and he's looking to make it yet again an early moment. Tratnik is there with him. Also there, too, is Tronchon. It's Tratnik who's taking it up in the yellow through the centre. Tronchon on the right-hand side, he's the man in the blue. Wellens, though, is going to be bumped out. This time it's going to be fourth. Second place to Tronchon, third goes to Tratnik. Fourth for Wellens, but all the attention, quite rightly, Adam Blythe, is on this man.